Hey guys, hope that you're all doing well. Welcome back. Let's play some more EU4. We are Burgundy. And uh, we are wrapping this campaign up here. We got a bunch of permanent claims and some free admin points, which is cool. Uh, so, we are of a truce with these guys for quite a bit. Oh yeah. So, what we need to do here, in order to finish out this mission tree... Chivalry is not dead. Army tradition of at least 80. Maybe. We need a couple big wars in order to push that one through. Who's disloyal? Kingdom of Italy. For what reason? My Diplo rep is low, huh? Why is it low? Let me see where we at here. Oh, yikes. My reputation was sabotaged, huh? Well, let's just up that. That'll help that out a bit. And then... I mean, we're way ahead on these idea groups, so we might as well just dev them a bit, yeah? Look at that, 23 dev, not bad. And now we'll be loyal for forever. And Prussia's looking pretty good as well. So the Kingdom of Italy is a client state. Now if we want to spread the revolution and get this Napoleon's ambition, which I had mentioned and I think I'm going to go for it. Where's it at here? Napoleon's ambition, right here. Apparently we have to do this through war. So we can try it. It's going to be a little tough. But I think we can do it. It's just going to be about dancing around the uh, coalition here. So we're just going to separate piece out as many people as possible. Okay. Revolutionary Dortmund. You like to see it happen, folks. Revolutionary who? Who joined our coalition? <laughs> Who was that? Revolutionary Memigan. Look at these flags, man. Oh, please don't ever change Paradox. Alright, so, idea groups. Um, might as well go Plutocratic since we're a revolution now. Let's focus on Mill. All we need to do is siege these guys down. Won the Siege of Dortmund, the Knights have joined our coalition. Force Religion, give me all these points there. And as soon as this truce is up here, we're going to attack them to annex them, to full annex them. So this one might be, hmm, let's see here. Where are we at? Spread the Revolution 60. Oh, yikes. This might take a minute. Let's get a better general over there. Should be able to just kick those guys' butt. Oh, yeah. Let's siege down Munich's capital. Don't care about the Kiel. Don't really care about the manpower. Army tradition I do want. We can get that 80. Where are we at here? Okay, it's going up. Slowly but surely. So Switzerland is in this war as well. There we go. Revolutionary will spread, sweat, spread to all Swiss pro- Oh, I didn't- Derp. I was thinking he was an OPM over here. That makes sense. Okay, this is fine. So, that should have counted for that, right? Yes, okay. We gotta do that a few more times. It's gonna take some time. Um, they're in my coalition, so this is our issue. I mean, we might as well just go for it then. Let's just attack the Ottomans, right? Why not? You know, what could possibly go wrong here? We're still allied with these guys, yeah? Very good. Let's make sure that we're topping off relations with them. How's our... Oh wait, we are not a hegemon. Were we not? We must have lost it? Did we have it before? I was thinking we did. Oh, we can build up the force limit here and get our... Um... So let's just build a couple of 50 stacks of um, infantry around then. Build up to a thousand. This is super wasteful. Just spent all of our manpower as well. 
Just wait for it. It'll be glorious. Portugal has entered into our coalition. Yeah, that's pretty big. Knights Maghreb is over there. Looking beefy. So can I force the revolution on him? Oh, it's only 60. Very good. Okay, cool. These are only level 2 forts as well. So let's get some spy network over here. Is he over here? No, he's not. Hmm. Collecting a lot of trade over there. I think I want... Prussia to give me his trade. So let's do something like this. That's only 18 dev, dude. 18 points. So now he's going to be loyal. Divert trade. And then we just have to make sure that he's able to... How much are we subsidizing him? Oh, yeah. We're subsidizing him 10, so check this out. Watch our income go up. So we'll be go steering... Right now we're collecting how much? 354. We're steering 3. 354. So it didn't go up at all? That doesn't sound right at all. I don't know about that one. So check this out. Defensiveness. He's got good siege ticks. Oh, wow. He has really good siege ability. Yikes. All right. Cool. Well. Revolutionary Kingdom of Italy. There we go. My vassal is now revolutionary. All right. Let's uh, just get on over here. We should be able to wipe them. It's a mountains fort. We have a superior general as well, don't we? Oh, yeah. Very good. We just need to take his capital to enforce the peace, so we might as well, yeah? Let's get these guys over here. These guys, like, down here. These guys, like, over here. Just... Just doing something, yeah? Build whatever we need to over here. So these are already level eights. I need to build one here though. Instead of the grand shipyard, let's build a level eight fort there. Can I build any ramparts? Is there already one over here? I think I'd rather have a ramparts. These are both grassland, so it's not super important. Get rid of this guy, build a ramparts. And then this one will also build a ramparts eventually. That'll be fine. So, he's 54 or 53. Let's just go with a military candidate. 45, much better. Might be able to reelect this guy. Let's just see what we can do here with the auto blob. Taking his capitals. Oh, this is a war su show superiority. Ah. Okay. Still overextended. <laughs> These sieges are all super easy because he's just really low. Um, they're all level two forts. Like all of them. This is only a level three on his capital. I don't know what he's been doing this whole game. He might have a lot of ships, but not doing a whole lot with the with your money, man. All right, here's what's going on over there. Very good. Nice. We just sat Constantinople. Very good. Let's do the Carpa Siege thing. Mantuan Separatists. I'll have to handle those for him because the AI is not really good about handling the rebels. Go. Suppress rebels over here as well. There we go. So Ming's in this war. That might be an issue. All right. Get on over here. Corfu. If he'll let me. There we go.
And then something like this, and then all of their men are fighting over here in Russia. I wonder how much they've taken in attrition. Yeah, sounds about right. Oh, the Ming have lost 121,000. That means they're just marching a ton of men across the... Yeah. <laughs> oh, they have low mandate, too. This is bad for them. Yeah, they have no manpower. How many mercs do they have? This never ceases to amaze me. Uh, where are they at? Spain's revolutionary now. Very cool. Ottoman has a lot of manpower. Ming has no manpower, and they only have 37,000 mercs, so... We'll see how that looks in a minute. Our golden era is over. I cry ever, Tim. Do something like this. Get you guys down here. Well, I guess these guys are just going to hang out there until they win that siege. Yeah, looking back, I wasted a ton of mill points on that revolutionary zeal. I didn't know how the mechanic worked. Get you guys over here. Yeah, we're definitely going to have to piece out the Ming before we're going to be able to do anything useful in this war. Get you guys over there. Yeah, they're going to just destroy Russia. Luckily, he moved his capital to St. Petersburg, so that's at least helpful, but... Ming is just destroying their own men. Like, look at this, dude. Look at this. Look at this fight here. Russia's single filing in. Goodness gracious. There's so many pop-ups for this revolution. This is crazy. So, revolu the revolution has spread. So what does this green, does this pink mean? Confused. I don't know what these colors mean. The revolution has spread to Ferrara. Oh, is it basically just saying like, it's really bad for us? Oh, they have really low revolutionary zeal. So, yeah, this is strange. Oh wow, they have a lot of rebels. Pretender rebels. And Sardinian Separatists. Yikes. Yeah, you guys are going to probably lose that, too. There we go. Get you guys over there. Let's just head on over and start sieging down his, uh... More of his stuff. Genoese Separatists. Uh, nope. I don't care about Prussia. They're fine. So yeah, now we're steering. We're earning a lot more money than we were before. How's Prussia doing with his income? Eh, could be better. Oh, he has no men as well. Is he in debt? Yeah. Okay, well, let's let's uh, subsidize him a little bit more. So the whole point of me taking the money um, via trade is to be able to give him more. Like... Think of it this way. I have better... I have trade ideas and he doesn't, right? He has no trade ideas. Oh, he does have trade ideas. But I collect way more here than he would up here. So we steer it from here instead. It's actually... Uh, when we're not at war, we'll upgrade him. But So then I collect it and then I give him subsidies. Which these subsidies then in turn make him way stronger. Therefore, we, we get more money, basically. Just give him 24 ducats. That sounds fair. How many men has the Ming lost? 200,000? Yeah, Russia is actually just crushing it in this war. I have very little to do with this, which is kind of funny. Very funny. Okay, I don't think I have to handle anything over here. Our truce with these guys isn't going to be up for a minute. April 40. So, let's have these guys with him start wake, working their way up here. Here we go. Very easy. Nice. Mm, maybe we want offensive. Nah, goods produce is solid. So let's see here. How far off are we? So we need like a few more. 
You can do these revolutionary guards. I think they cost more money, actually. Regardless, we're just... I'm not actually going to use these men. I'm going to disband most of them after we... Well, I think you actually have to maintain it, right? Yeah. Hmm. Do we gain we gain siege ability over time? No. Just you just magically get it after you finish it. Very good. Cool. Well, I can do that. So I'm just waiting for Ming to be on low enthusiasm from losing so many men. That's kind of all I'm waiting on. Oh yikes! Yeah, they're just single filing their guys in to, to kill themselves. Yeah, what are you doing? This doesn't sound smart, man. They're just single filing. What? The Ottomans have lost so many men. Could we single handedly destroy the Ottoman in one war? Nah, they have 77 professionalism. There's no way. They basically have unlimited manpower. <laughs> That's okay. Ming's enthusiasm is going down very quickly due to, uh, you know, all of their men dying to attrition. Their mandate is still going up pretty significantly, actually. So, who knows? Go, those guys are handled. Let's convert a couple of provinces. Let's uh, win this siege here. And then we'll take Ankara. There we go. We just need to wait for Ming to get on low. Honestly, after Ming pieces out, it's free game. We can do whatever we want then. Nice. We're just going around winning forts. How long has this war been going on? Four years? Eh, a little bit longer than is necessary, probably, but... I'm enjoying it. Russia winning sieges over here. There we go. Ming wants out now. And just like that, we gain lots and lots and lots of war. Enthusiasm. You guys are definitely going to be giving me this. We have so many separatists popping over here. People are joining our coalition, I assume. Are they leaving it? Mm. I don't know. When's this truce over? It's coming up. April. April of next year. So we got a lot of men over here. Let's get these guys grouped up into a big doom stack. And then have them uh, lay the smack down on these guys. Oh, yeah. They won't stand a chance. Look at all these. Look at they have a number advantage. Look at this. Yikes. So they've spent none of their professionalism. Interesting. Oh, there they are. We got a 90 stack over here. Goodness gracious. Well, we definitely need to kill as many of them as we can. This is a show superiority war, so they're not really helping. Let's uh, let's sage this down since our general died apparently, and I didn't catch it. We'll come and catch this 90 stack down here. There we go. That's some fire pips right there, baby. This is grasslands. Maneuver is equal, so seventh and the seventh. Yeah, we definitely want to track these guys down if we can. Here we go. Not bad. We lost a lot of men, but I'm not too worried about it. They actually can't really flee too far, yeah? I think they can only flee. Yeah, okay. Very good. Check this out. So that's a wipe, and then the rest of them are fleeing somewhere over here. I don't know. Let's get those guys off there. Okay, we can actually do this, so let's do that. And then... Could release Greece, but I don't really feel like that's necessary. Mm. Would like to take this province there. And then, like, money from you. There we go. So there is two down, right? Where are we at here? Where is this freaking... Oh, there we go. K. Okay. 
He has a truce with me. Our truce with these guys is up next month. I'm just going to immediately declare. So I think I might be able to double dip. Right. We get the morale. Um, we might as well just take these techs. I don't... Whatever, man. We're good. We're way ahead on both of them. Uh, yeah, let's just take this as well. The National Unrest is nice. Um, all these guys will be willing to join. Revolutionary... Is that France? Is that what that says? Oh, Frankfurt, yeah. Spread the revolution. So, I'm thinking... Let me see here. So, chivalry is not dead. We're closing in on it. We'll probably be able to get it, yeah? We need more forts. Really? <laughs> I feel like we have a lot of them, but apparently we need more. That should cover them. That one there. We gotta core that. Cool. I like- I do love that there's just a random curlin that formed on its own. Um... Okay, let's pull you guys over here. Something like this. How's Croatia looking? So... We could attack Croatia right now. Alright, we need to do this. So... What was it we needed for this? Carolingian Empire, Kingdom of Bavaria... Conquer East Francia, we just need six more provinces. One, two, three, four, five, five, six. We can fully annex him, and then we'll um, force the revolution on him. At least, well, that's what that's what I'm going to try to do. Here we go. Stack wipe him, because that's how you get war score, apparently. Um, okay, let's get you guys over here, then. Remember, these guys are a march, too. That's a stack wipe and a half. Oh, maybe it's not, actually. Look at our morale, though. 10.6. That's, uh, that's pretty good, huh? Cool. So... We have cannons over here. Let's get some cannons on these guys. And then let's get you guys with a siege guy over here. We just want to win these as quickly as possible. Let's actually get you guys right here. Cool. Let's get you guys there and then head back up. So is Versberg in this war? Yeah, okay, cool. Well, let's just piece him out then. That way I can... Not worry about him, because he's a he's a pretty big chunk of this fight that we're fighting right now. And then let's get you guys up here. Should be an easy wipe. Very good. Continue to wipe these guys out. After this fight, we should be able to peace Versberg out. I'd be surprised if we can't. Very good. Break your alliance with Silesia. There we go. We can force them to embrace it and embrace the revolution. So then you guys over here will just siege down some land over here. So the goal is gonna be to separate piece out um Frankfurt for all of his land. And then we are going to um, force the revolution on him as well. People are leaving our coalition, which is good. Let's attack these guys. Poland will join. Spread the revolution, of course. Have you guys head up there. Let's get another general in there. Croatia will join. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to take all of these and force the revolution on him. Oh, really? It happened already? Such a... Such a frustrating... Uh, frustrating thing. Here we go. Yeah. Okay, well, I guess we're just gonna annex a bunch of his land. 
Revolutionary Tree Air. Their flag is just a flip of mine. Yeah, they said, I, I had a cool comment about it. He says, the gold represents the fields of the French that we reap our, benef reap our you know, food from. The, blood, the burgundy is to represent where we came from. And the gold is to represent our enormous riches. I thought that was good. Put you guys over there with a siege guy, which we have one on there. Let's have you guys head over here with a general onto uh, Plock. People still keep commenting, telling me how to pronounce it. I pronounce it wrong on purpose. 100% on purpose. It's like Plotsk or something like that. I'm gonna say Plock. Plock sounds way better in my opinion. Croatia, we're just gonna occupy him and piece him out separately because... Yeah, we don't really benefit from having him in here. I don't know if I can spread the revolution outside of Europe. So, we'll find that out together as well, because I do not know. There we go. So, Nassau, you are gone. Goodbye. And Frankfurt will also be gone. We're going to full annex all of them. Frankfurt, you are gone. Goodbye. Need to make sure I'm not getting overextended here, though. You guys are gone. Well, they're not full annex, but, you know, gone for now. And then Silesia. So Poland, I actually could take some land from. Croatia, I actually could probably full annex, yeah. We can take most of their land. Probably should, right? Same color CB and all that, but we'll do it in the next one. Hope you guys are enjoying. If you are, please share your support, leave a like, subscribe, and ding the bell. And don't forget to um, check out the Discord. Or if you want to support us, we got a Patreon on it. Or you can join the channel via channel memberships linked in the description below. That's all I got for you, though. This is Chewy Shoot, and I'll catch you guys later. A very special, huge thanks to my top supporter on Patreon, Spartan Omega, as well as the other very generous people, Palmer, Bloodbound, Drunk Binary, Angelic, Jaren Clampett, Martin Dressel, Some Kind of Meme, Corbett Gaming, Blonde Damon, Thomas Jarden, The Bitter Steel, Joseph Catchell, RJ Pilot, Home TV, Disdain, and many, many more. Your continued support is what allows this channel to thrive, and I appreciate you very much.